The future is here, with mind-controlling chips almost ready to be installed in our brains. Musk has been developing brain chips, presumably for the disabled to help them do things by altering their brain activity. But that's just surface-level information that the company wants the masses to believe in. Keep watching to find out the dark truth about Neuralink. But first, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up while you're at it. Elon Musk announced the first Neuralink implanted in an experimental pig which was made by his company. It is an intrusive technology based on the idea of a neural lace, which is a mesh of maybe hundreds of wires strung throughout the brain, with concentration of connections in select locations. To briefly describe the device to people without much technical knowledge, these either alter or sample neuronal patterns. It goes without saying that even the minor technical glitches are enormous. For instance, brain surgery is involved. Then, because commonly implanted electrodes tend to cause the tissues around them to wither away. We have biocompatibility difficulties. Massive volumes of data are being sent and received via the skull to and from an implanted and supposedly powered computer. Elon Musk might be able to find solutions to these issues because they are not brand new technical difficulties, and a lot of effort has previously been done in this field. Robotics may even make it possible to automate brain surgery. Making sense of the data coming from the brain and adding data that the brain can interpret is the true challenge. For IT enthusiasts, this is all being talked up like a scenario from the movie The Matrix, when a character downloads everything in a matter of seconds, including a thorough understanding of martial arts techniques and the capacity to pilot a helicopter. The optimistic claim that a whole education may be downloaded into the brain in hours as opposed to years and so forth, not to mention recording further memories, whether they be true or false, or even fusing minds into Borg-like gestalts. Even while it may seem astonishing, a number of experts have noted that Neuralink's experiment poses some risks, and they suggest that similar studies be conducted using non-invasive techniques. In the past, RFID chips were used in experiments on monkeys, and hundreds of pages of public records document the animal's suffering as a result. According to the Physicians' Committee for Responsible Medicine, before the subjects were killed, the tests caused them to develop persistent illnesses, seizures, paralysis, internal bleeding, and deteriorating psychological health. The researchers then published case studies of eight monkeys that had been harmed by the careless trials. For instance, Animal 11, a 10-year-old female macaque, had a six-hour procedure in which electrodes were implanted in her brain and holes were bored in her skull. Records from the study include observations that claim that the implants grew sick quickly the skin was damaged, and she was scratching at the left implant. The metal implant soon pierced the flesh of her skull, and there was black dried blood all around it. After another intrusive procedure, they later killed her. Another example involved a monkey who vomited so much as a result of the side effects that she developed open sores on her esophagus. The glue caused bleeding in the monkey's brain. At this point, we know that Musk and his company are involved in animal harm, and not much is being done about it. While it is very common to experiment science and technology on animals, there are also certain codes of conduct that are followed during every experimental trial. The animals are always supposed to be treated the way humans would get the treatment during research, and any harmful treatments are to be avoided. Musk's trials have ignored these rules and have caused severe physical and mental damage to the monkeys, to the point that they had to kill them later to avoid further suffering. Many animals died during such tests, but there are certain charges and penalties, but Musk has evidently avoided any such cases against animal cruelty. Furthermore, even though there has been backlash about these trails and social media, none of Musk's team members or doctors have released any statement to clarify their stance. It has always been Musk on the forefront, and he has somehow managed to make people believe in his evil business plans. Elon Musk argued that before implanting a microchip in a human brain, his organization must exercise extraordinary caution. Elon Musk stated, We've been working hard to be ready for our first human implant. And obviously, we want to be extremely careful and certain that it will work well before putting a device in a human. Neuralink has completed all necessary papers to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, and is presently awaiting authorization to start human clinical studies. The Physicians Committee notes that human-relevant techniques, such as non-invasive methods and data gathered from patients during essential medical neurosurgery, can be used to develop brain-machine interface technology. This may sound ridiculous, 
but there is danger that Neuralink chips could be hacked and used for mind control. The primary benefit of the technology, the capacity to control objects with your mind, is also its biggest drawback. The devices that connect the brain to computers could give hackers access to the brain. Through this route, hackers might be able to persuade wealthy people to transfer funds to their account, or even influence elections in a candidate's favor. The chip would link to your phone through Bluetooth, which the business claims has lacked security requirements. Many experts are concerned since Musk also stated that the Neuralink app, which would link a smartphone to the brain, would be available on the App Store. They think that consumers would unintentionally download a knockoff app, which would again compromise the chip's security. If the technology proves to be as effective as the business promises at increasing brain activity, it may change people's personalities. This could have negative repercussions, even though it might seem helpful for persons healing from mental health disorders without the need for counseling or medication. The chip's stimulation of the brain could not always have beneficial consequences. It might instead serve to amplify violent or aggressive tendencies. Some people worry that because the chip can improve human capacities over time, some people may end up with physical and mental advantages over others. Furthermore, having a chip inserted into your head is probably not something that everyone can afford. Musk stated during the 2020 Neuralink demonstration that the cost of the implant would be a few thousand dollars, including the cost of the procedure. This increased the wealth gap by ensuring that only a few wealthy people would benefit from this improvement. This also means that even if a wealthy person is less brainy or smart next to a poor person, the wealthy would still have an advantage because the person can easily spend and get a chip installed that can help them get smarter. More enhanced brain activity for the wealthy will simply take down the ones who can't afford to get these chips. What would this do to society in the long run? The poor would never make it to the top because no matter the amount of skill they might have, they will still be competing with minds working on robotic speed. Manipulation of the society will get way easier and things might end up getting extremely dirty. What's more interesting is that while humans at this point are controlling robots and machines, soon those machines will start controlling humans and their brain activities. Brain upgrades won't slow down in the future as more and more brain-machine interface systems that acquire and analyze brain signals, businesses, including Neurable and MindX, enter the market. In actuality, the industry is anticipated to expand at a compound yearly growth rate of 12.43%, reaching $283 million by 2025. While the industry does have its share of problems, it's vital to remember that overall, scientific advancement is a step in the right direction for societal development. These problems merely serve to emphasize the need for ethical considerations in advancement. As the market expands, it is hoped that government action would put pressure on businesses to adhere to strong ethical guidelines when creating intrusive technology. Do you think Neuralink should be launched? Let us know in the comments below and make sure you like, subscribe, and share.